Welcome to Packers News, this is our channel. We will bring news, drafts, rumors, everything about the team in the first hour. We are aiming to reach the goal of 1000 subscribers. To help us subscribe so you don't miss anything, leave a like if you are eager for more content from Packers and join the conversation in the comments, leave your review and praise below, so we can help the channel grow correctly. We want to build a communicative and passionate community for Packers, let's make history together. Amid mixed emotions in the Green Bay Packers locker room following a playoff loss, right guard John Runyon Jr. reflects on his uncertain future as he prepares to enter NFL free agency this offseason. Chosen in the sixth round of 2020 by the Packers, Runyon was a two-year starter at the position, but the 2023 season brought challenges and a rotation with player Sean Ryan. In a candid conversation, Runyon shared, I'm definitely going to have to take some time to go out and process everything. He acknowledged the difficulties he faced, including dealing with injuries that impacted his performance. However, the rotation provided an opportunity for Sean Ryan to showcase his talent, and Runyon believes it was beneficial for both. At the start of the season, Runyon faced ups and downs, but as the rotation intensified in the second half, he began to display his best football. I don't regret how the season went. A lot of things were out of my control, personally, but overall I feel really good about how the season went," said the player. The rotation in the offensive line, praised by the coaches, contributed to increasing the competition and improving the performance of the group as a whole. Now, with the future uncertain, the Packers face a crucial decision at the right guard position. Sean Ryan has shown potential, but needs to improve his pass blocking skills. Sorry to interrupt the video, but I would like to ask all of you to share, comment, and like this video with your fellow Green Bay Packers fans. So if you liked the video so far, I would be very grateful if you left your like and comment, we continue with the video John Runyon Jr. has built a solid resume, playing over 85% of offensive snaps over the past three seasons. However, he recognizes that his destiny is not completely in his control. It was amazing. I don't know if there's a better organization out there. I gave them everything I could," Runyon expressed about his time in Green Bay, adding that he hopes to return in 2024. For the Packers, the decision on Runyon will bring challenges. If he doesn't return, the team will likely look for reinforcements to add depth along the interior offensive line. Runyon, emotional as he talks about his experience in Green Bay, concludes, I don't want to leave, but it's not really in my hands. John Runyon Jr.'s future remains uncertain, but his dedication and contributions to the Packers have certainly left a mark, making him an important figure as the team prepares to face off-season decisions. Bonus News Green Bay, Wisconsin, Green Bay Packers head coach Matt LaFleur faced the press Monday morning to wrap up the 2023 season and address the uncertainty surrounding defensive coordinator Joe Barry's future. In a relaxed press conference, LaFleur made it clear that no final decision has been made at this time. The coach expressed that the evaluation process has barely begun and that he has not yet met with any of the coaches to discuss the team's future. LaFleur admitted that the evaluation phase will begin on Monday afternoon. During Week 17, the Packers' defense demonstrated notable improvements. Tactical changes and flexible approaches were adopted, resulting in improved communication and more consistent performance. The question now is, how much of this is due to Joe Barry or LaFleur's direct intervention? LaFleur responded to the question by saying, I think that was all of that. That will be part of the conversation. Considering the influence of the defensive scheme versus the player's individual execution makes the decision more complex. LaFleur's involvement in planning the defense over the last few games will be a determining factor in the final decision. If he was heavily involved, the trust needed to keep Barry as coordinator could be in play. Timing will also play a crucial role. If LaFleur has been more active on defense in recent games, the question remains whether that intensity can be maintained over a full season. According to Matt Schneidman of The Athletic, Joe Barry is under contract for the 2024 season, meaning firing him would require more deliberate action on the team's part. The Packers ended the 2023 season on a positive note, laying a solid foundation for next year. With a new window of contention in sight in 2024, the defensive coordinator decision will play a vital role in the pursuit of excellence. 
Lafleur emphasized the importance of analyzing the three seasons under his leadership to make an informed decision. He stated, the next step is to analyze and figure out how we can be a little more consistent. And it's not just on defense. It's at every stage. As for a decision date, Lafleur indicated that he will go through the process at his own pace, and that detailed analysis of performance and consistency will be key in determining Joe Barry's future as the Packers' defensive coordinator. If you enjoyed every second of this exclusive content, don't forget to leave a like and share with the entire Packers nation. We want to see this incredible support echoing everywhere. We want to know your opinion. Comment below what your favorite moment in the video was or what you hope for in the next Packers games. We're keeping an eye on every comment. If you're not already part of our community, it's time to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news, after all, this is the right place for true Green Bay Packers fans. So, don't waste more time. Click the subscribe button, activate the notification bell and be part of this Packers family. Together, let's.